for you. Um, okay. I am honored to be the recipient of the Distinguished Achievement Award. This award recognizes the unsung heroes who make the Hudson Valley more habitable, healthy, and inclusive for all. I am proud to be one of those who are dedicated and committed to strengthening our communities, but I am no longer an unsung hero. Uh, thank you, Mohan Consultations, for giving me this moment. Ah. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who was involved in coordinating this beautiful and zoomy delicious event. Um, but especially to Kitty, where are you Kitty? <laughs> who was just the right mix of soft and persistent <laughs> to make sure I completed my tasks and that I was responsive when she needed me. As most of you know, I am definitely not getting this award for being on time. <laughs> Um, thank you to my speakers, uh, all of whom have played a major part in my life at important character building moments. Um, I was nervous when I gave Kitty your names as potential speakers, and I'm humbled that you've all said yes. <sighs> thank you to my parents, who never once questioned my odd job choice. <laughs> They drew the line at beekeeping and dog walking. <laughs> but their eyes light up when I tell them that we filled the truck with unwashed potatoes right out of the field and left a trail of black dirt all the way to the first delivery. Uh, thank you to my supervisors and co-workers and assistants, of which there I think there are three or four assistants here tonight. One of them actually works here. <laughs> um, who nurture an environment and extension which really allows for creativity. This program began because Mary thought outside the box, and Lucy and Pat were willing to advocate for her idea. Without that kind of risk-taking and trust, we would be nowhere. Thank you to all of, my, all of the numerous community agencies who share my goal to increase access to fresh fruits and vegetables in low-income areas. Your ingenuity and never-ending supply of love and energy are inspiring. You are all my role models. Thank you to our funders, little and big. Having entered Extension with zero grant writing skills, I can definitely say fundraising is crazy. <laughs> I learned quickly that it can be competitive and complicated, exhausting and deflating. And then I will immediately follow that with, if I had to do it over again, I would gladly choose those same donors. They made themselves available to me to give me guidance, were flexible to Gleaning's unusual needs and understood our mission. They've been a joy to work with, and I look forward to many more years of working with you. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to my farmers, gardeners, growers, hunters, packing house managers, farm market managers, and processors. Thank you for your patience as I do a three-point turn with a big truck and a little driveway. <laughs> as I arrange, rearrange the pallets on my truck to make more room, thank you for staying a little bit later so I can get everything on the truck that night for an early morning delivery. Thank you for taking the first step to call. Dinner's on me tonight. <laughs> Thank you to my awesome friends and family have, who have always understood me and have been willing to meet me where I am, in a field picking peppers. And a special thank you to those of you who, who can count yourself in multiple categories. Farms who, or friends who farm, donors who deliver, agencies who harvest, you have been crucial in moments of clean and crisis. Before we eat, as I am eager to do, I'll end with a quick story. There are so many stories that I could share, like the time over 300 volunteers showed up to pick 100,000 pounds of apples, or the time that only one showed up and we bought squash until long after the sun went down. Or any of the multiple times that an agency volunteer met me on the side of the road or in a parking lot and filled their cars just past the point of reasonable, and with their car sitting a little too low on its wheels would turn to me and say, we'll be back for more. But the one I'd like to share is a great example of the spirit of cleaning. It was my first clean. Due to some unfortunate weather, weather circumstances, a farmer was not able to harvest some corn. He was thrilled to hear he could donate the entire field. When a handful of volunteers responded to my, help, my email for help, I set a date to clean. Over 40 people showed up to harvest that day, filling the truck within an hour, including the cab. It was overwhelming how quickly the bags of corn came in from that field. 
after clearing out the cab so that I could start deliveries, it became clear that I, I wasn't prepared for this much corn. <laughs> when I asked the agencies what they would do, I was introduced to our very responsive emergency food system. It turns out my spreadsheet was not complete. Didn't even scratch the surface. I was directed to the real movers and shakers. Neighbors in senior housing, churches distributing food through small group programs, clever cooks making fresh meals for people who are homebound, pastors with access to kitchens to, to cook and freeze for daycare programs. Some agencies took more and distributed to their partner programs as well. Making these connections was exciting. Everyone was eager to help. Nobody wanted this corn to go to waste. Over two days, we found homes for all 8,000 pounds of corn. At the time, I remember this being a lot of corn. <laughs> I was known as the corn girl for several years in New York. <laughs> Um, 8,000 pounds is still a lot of corn, <laughs> but the current version of our program is much smoother than it used to be and has a regional network to move a lot more rescue produce much more efficiently. But that same excitement is still there. No matter how many times I put a volunteer, a volunteer in a field of four empty bags and say, I'll be right back, <laughs> volunteers continue to show up, participate, and leave proud. Agencies find new ways to move more food faster, like using apps to send alerts to clients when a delivery of produce has arrived. And farmers really appreciate that they have a home for their beautiful but unsold product. Gleaning has a long history and can be found in some of our oldest communities. It reduces waste, feeds neighbors, and makes people happy. As one of my favorite donors once said, gleaning makes sense. So thank you everyone for helping me over the last 13 years to make sense. Thank <laughs> you.